The Supernatural Abilities of Bigfoot. Header Note. This started as a comment in a thread, but since it became its own thing and was almost off topic, I figured I would make a post of it for conversation purposes. Here is the thing. A pistol shrimp literally can snap at claws so fast that it creates a 4,800 degree 288 decibel interaction with the water that is loud enough to be picked up by submarines miles away. It literally flash fries small prey while simultaneously rendering them unconscious from the power of the sound. We now know that certain species of octopi not only have the ability to match their surroundings like a chameleon, they also suck up shells and rocks with their tentacles and covered themselves perfectly to look like a rock. After seeing a person one time, it can remember who that specific human is months later. The cordyceps fungi has no heart or brain like some invertebrates, yet it can land spores on an ant's head, which will grow into the ant's brain, then it controls the ant like it's driving a car. The ant is then driven up a plant stalk and the last thing the any is commanded to do is bite down right on the center spine of a specific type of leaf, then the cordyceps eats the insides of the ant's body while it multiplies and makes a zombie statue of the ant which spreads more spores to other unsuspecting ants. The point I'm trying to make is that something like what we know as Bigfoot could easily have abilities we are not able to comprehend like producing infrasound that can make you puke on command, or flood your mind with fear. It could have amazing eyesight in day and night, simultaneously causing the eyes to change colors. Even something like a cloaking ability like blending to their surroundings, these are all things that are completely normal and found all throughout nature made by evolution. Why does that need to be supernatural? The pistol shrimp isn't supernatural. Go look at sperm whales, no, seriously, go watch a video about them. They are amazing they are mammals, and they have their own clicking language that is so loud it can kill a human if it's too close. It can be heard from miles away and different sperm whales from around the world have different dialects for their part of the world just like we humans have different accents. Sperm whales can't breath underwater yet they go down so deep that we don't know what they are doing down there. These depths would crush the human body and collapse it in on itself. So if evolution can send an animal into the water and it can evolve into a sperm whale who's to say that a creature didn't move far into the mountains and evolve from our closest ancestors in the caveman days, to a Sasquatch-type humanoid with non-human abilities. Remember that in the 1800s and early 1900s people talked of pandas and sloths, like they were mythical beings like a unicorn. Then we went into the woods and discovered them one day. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Post from user iMac55 at Bigfoot at Reddit. Comments. This is what I keep saying to people. But in far fewer words. I think it is just that a lot of people have no imagination for these creatures having natural abilities that we cannot yet understand, therefore it just has to be supernatural for it to fit in their little lives. Comment from user Mevins 75502 at Bigfoot at Reddit.